because today is Tuesday. Um, I did not do any work yesterday. I normally film on a Monday, but um, did not because we have been full of cold in this house and it just sucks. Um, but thankfully I feel a lot better today. Um, and I have work to do. I really need to get on with some Christmas stuff. I feel like all I've worked on for the last few weeks is Christmas, but it is fast approaching. And I, so far, do not have very many listings ready to launch on the 1st of November. I think I have like 10 greeting cards and that's it. Whereas I have so much other stuff that I've designed and is pretty much ready to go. I just need to actually make it up and photograph it so I can get it on Etsy ready to go live on the 1st of November. So that is going to be a big part of what I'm doing today, just printing stuff and photographing it and getting it ready. Um, I really want to focus on my Christmas card packs. So I've decided I'm going to do like big greeting cards like like these ones that I usually do um, with Christmas designs on. But I'm also going to do, let me grab one, um, mini versions. So this is like my standard size greeting card. If you've ever had a greeting card from me, this is the size that it will be. These ones are literally like half the size. Um, and I'm going to do them as packs of four. Um, I think in the last vlog I was doing some Christmas gift tags as well and I mentioned in there that I started making them and then was like I have no idea how much I need to sell these for to actually make them worthwhile um, and that turned out that it wasn't too bad it would be £3.60 I think I can't remember offhand but it was £3 something I think it was 3 60 for a pack of six which wasn't that bad um, and mini greeting cards I can't recall again offhand, I think it was four pound something for a pack of four, maybe six. Should probably look this up. Right, I found it. It was four pound 20 for a pack of six. Um, and I'm not entirely sure whether I should do mixed designs or single design packs so like it would be a pack of six and you get a mixture in there or a pack of six and you get all the same i might offer both to be honest um, and then that way people can choose what they want rather than me just trying to make up as i go um so yeah i think that's what i want to do this morning get some in fact if i'm going to do mini greeting card photos i might as well do them as a mock-up that way i don't have to print every single variant of card that's probably my best bet um so yeah i think i'm going to start with that just come to use my camera and the battery has died and I cannot find the charger anywhere. I have completely lost it. Um, I'm just going to order a new one because there's, I've checked everywhere that I can think of at this point and it's still nowhere to be found. So ugh, a bit gutted, but I'm going to have to order a new camera charger. And in the meantime, I'm going to have to use my phone to take the photos that I want to take today. So that means I can't film and take pictures at the same time. So um, I'll see you on the other side. I have taken a few photos, not that many, um, 
I'm taking a few. I'm going to pull them up on my laptop now and see how they look. And if I'm not happy with them, then I will have to set up and do all again. So fingers crossed that they look okay on the big screen. So that is the mini card pack photos actually done. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like them from taking them on the phone to putting them on the computer. Sometimes you bring them up on the computer and you're like, oh God, they're really awful. Um, but actually these turn out fine. So I'm really happy with them. Um, so I guess the next thing for me to do is to get them listed on Etsy as a draft and then they're just ready to go uh which is great um so that's another thing kind of ticked off the list as such i feel like i already took photos of the gift tags but i don't know where those photos are or if i made drafts on etsy of the listings but i have a vague recollection <laughs> that i have taken photos of the gift tags I'm not sure though. Maybe I dreamt it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go and look now on my Etsy and see if that is there or not. But um, I think before I do that, I'm gonna have a quick break because that felt really intense. That felt like a really intense amount of work um, putting those photo mock-ups together. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna break for a cup of tea and then have a look and see if I have actually listed the gift tags yet or not. I always say I'm going to do things in one order and then do them in a completely different order. So haven't been for that tea break yet, um, but did go and check whether or not I have taken pictures or listed the gift tags. No, <laughs> no, I haven't. So I don't know why I thought 
that I've done that. I don't know where this vague memory has come from. Clearly it's not a memory at all. I think I must have dreamt it up. Um, so yeah, I definitely need to do that also. Um, uh, the tea break first because my brain is fried, it really is. Okay, so I have got these uh, greeting card packs listed as a draft on my Etsy. So my little Christmas collection is coming together now. Um, although there's only two different product types on there at the minute, there is more to come, but I feel like I am getting somewhere. I am about to grab some lunch quickly and then I'm gonna come back and I've got some orders to pack, only a couple today. Um, but orders are orders and they need to be packed and I am grateful for every single one. Um, it is really nice to be getting regular orders through Etsy now. And there are other channels that I'd like to look into as well. I'd really like to do wholesale on FAIR, which I have applied for twice. <laughs> and I haven't heard anything back, so maybe they just think I'm rubbish. Um, but yeah, there are some other things I'd like to, to kind of get going as well. But my Etsy ticking over nicely is just amazing I couldn't have asked for more so yeah I'm really really pleased with that um so yeah I'm gonna go grab some lunch and then I'm gonna come back and pack up those couple of orders <laughs> The shelves are looking a little bit tidier now. Um, I've got too much stuff and I can't fit it all on, um, but I don't literally have anywhere else to put it. Like, maybe I should, if I put more shelves up here, I have all this space, but if I put more shelves up here, I can't reach them. <laughs> um, so not really sure what I'm gonna do in terms of storage as the days and weeks go on, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. I've had a little bit of client work to do today, which has taken me the rest of the afternoon. So I am going to call it here for now and I will catch up with you again tomorrow because I have some exciting things that I 
want to show you tomorrow so i'll see you in the morning good morning pals it is wednesday today um and i said i had some things to do today that i thought were quite exciting so i'm going to take you along with me um i'm currently sat at my back door <laughs> Um, I've got some bits of wood here that I'm going to start cutting up into displays for the craft fair that I have coming up. Now it's not till December but I kind of want to get ahead and make these displays since I have these bits of wood here and ready. I'm going to go put a hat on though because the wind blowing my hair is going to drive me nuts. Um, so yeah I'm going to quickly run in and put a hat on and then we are going to create some craft displays, craft fair displays out of these bits of wood that I have. So I just cut out my first board and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. Originally, my plan was to put loads of holes into it and make it into a, um, like a pegboard and buy hooks and stuff that would fit in it. Um, but I don't know if that's really going to work without buying the hooks. Um, it's really windy here today. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to put some little shelves on it and use it as a card stand. I need to have a think. I am back in the office because it was so windy out there. Um, I have done a bit more than what you saw, but I couldn't film it anymore because I was like, you are not going to hear a word of what I'm saying because it is so windy. So I apologise for the terrible, terrible audio quality while I was outside, but I'll show you what I have made. So I've made a couple of boards. I've got this one, which is like, a, <laughs> I feel like it looks like a tombstone. It's not, it's just like an arch, but it, the Halloween vibes, I could definitely use this for Halloween craft fair and make it look like a t tombstone. That would be actually pretty awesome. Um, but I have this one, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna drill loads of holes and make it to a pegboard or not. I'm going to order the pegs first and see and then I also have this one which is like a cute kind of cloud sort of cloud shape um which I want to put some acrylic like storage on the front I'm not sure how how I'm going to attach it yet but I want like an acrylic um thing on the front and I can put stickers all in that one and I'm thinking I can do some vinyls so it says like stickers across there and like the pricing and the same for this one i can do cards and the pricing um but yeah this is what we've got so far i did do my hair this morning you now can't tell because i've been outside but um i have got a few more bits to do today um which are what exactly I've got I've got an order to pack and I have a few more bits to get on with with the 12 days of Christmas box so I am gonna end this vlog here um and then hopefully in the next one we will be able to do a bit more with these um wooden boards that I've got so I'm gonna try and get the stuff ordered the pegs ordered in time for the next vlog so that we can maybe start putting this stuff together and see what it looks like so have a good one, pals. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.